Progress MS-01 Russian, Progress MS-01, identified by NASA as Progress 62 or 62P is a Progress spacecraft used by Roscosmos to resupply the International Space Station ISS during 2015. It was launched on December 21, 2015, to deliver cargo to the ISS. Progress MS-1 is the first vehicle in the Progress MS series. Topic. Launch The launch was initially scheduled for 21 November 2015. Progress MS-1 was launched on 21 December 2015 at 8 hours 44 minutes and 39 seconds Coordinated Universal Time from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. Topic. Docking. Progress MS-1 docked with the Piers docking compartment on the 23rd of December 2015 at 10:27 Coordinated Universal Time. Topic: Technology. The Progress MS spacecraft has upgraded communications and electronics from previous Progress vehicles. After launch, ground controllers were able to communicate the Progress MS via a Russian Luch data relay satellite in geosynchronous orbit. This was described as the first time a Progress or Soyuz spacecraft had such capability. Other upgrades include upgraded KERS, a rendezvous system designated KERS NA, including new antennas. Upgraded flight control system that can take advantage of the GLONASS navigation satellites for the first time, for autonomous trajectory measurements. New digital television system, which replaced an older analog TV, allowing transmission between the transport ship and the space station via onboard radio channels. New digital backup control unit. Enhanced meteoroid shielding. New LED-based lighting system. Upgraded angular velocity sensors Docking port equipped with a backup electric driving mechanism Progress MS-1 was launched on a Soyuz 2, the first launch of the rocket since the failed launch of Progress M27M. The Soyuz U rocket was used for subsequent Progress flights until this flight. Topic: Reentry The upper stage re-entry was visible over Arizona and Nevada on December 22 at 5.30 Coordinated Universal Time. The spacecraft initiated the de-orbit maneuver on July 3, 2016 at 7.03 Coordinated Universal Time, with an expected landing of any possible debris on the Pacific Ocean by 7.50. UTC.